Hey, hi Miro, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. So, in the last part, we got to see Yuri's dark side. And that's about it. Also, I did a very bad Batman impression. I think I did that in the previous part. I don't remember. Okay, let's write some poems. Suicide. Climax? Wait, what? Look at the numbers. What the shit? What? Instead of going up, it just adds a, a 1 every time. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. For fuck's sake. Was that Sayori? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Um. Sure. Hi, Hiro. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my bestie today. Monica. I told you not to... Oh! Is she really late again? And consider it as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversation with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me. Nothing. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've been just feeling a little on edge lately. I, anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just felt like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Well, Hero just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. <laughs> Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano? <coughs> <coughs> well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Motivates me to work hard for the festival and... Um... Right. I, I forgot. Mm, about that, Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday and... Well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. Jesus Christ, man. Why, did, why am I doing this voice for Yuri? I don't know. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Ugh. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that last part was really funny. 
Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. Guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. I know the new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool like me. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would like to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know. So I'm gonna help too, and we'll make sure it's done right. <clears throat> Thank goodness! Isn't that great, Monica? Ah, Monica? Huh? Yeah, that's wonderful. I wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Hero, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today! Ah. Huh. Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Hiro is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Ugh. Aren't you glad I already got an event to literature, Monica? I... I suppose. It's just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes, um... Thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time any better, it's a nice cup of tea. My voice hurts a lot while doing this. Not to mention for yourself as well. Damn it. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric... Wait, this already happened yesterday. I'm going to block this in the at the teacher's desk, and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms, especially because her long legs. Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? This already happened yesterday. Am I dreaming about this? This already happened. Don't fuck with me, game. Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, I might as well walk with you. Wait, that's me. Not yet, the fuck. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. I'll just masturbate in the corner for a while while I cut myself. Picture in hand, Yuri or is off out the, 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 the classroom. Right. Ah. Did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make. Wait, this already happened! Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Something holding her up. I'm bored just waiting, so I decide to look look for her. It's happening again. It's the same stuff that happened yesterday. I mean, in, yesterday in the game, because it's been a couple of days since the last recording. <laughs> the most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ah! <sighs> What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. Sounds like breathing. Yeah. Sharp in air, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Have they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Ah.
Thank fuck I wasn't looking at the screen. Um. Wait. How did I? Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? Yes, it has. My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing or anything. I would like for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. Oh, I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered. Yeah, it is. It's like that. I, I know, and I still do it either way, but I don't care anymore. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So I started hiding those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies. And the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So... I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me. I'm, I'm tired of reading in that voice, so I'm just gonna read it normally. <laughs> then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. But every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. So it overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Hero. Is it just me? Or has Monica been acting a little off lately? What? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? What if you say it with that face? Please tell me I'm not. I could, couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. She's with her face. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. For fuck's sake. We can stay here until the club ends. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Oh my god. There's... There's a faint image. Is that Monica? Can you see that? It's Monica. Not only to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. <laughs> it was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives though. Oh, Monica is starting to appear. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you'd never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them all from various artisans. I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. No one them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the literature club hero. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. It's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy song anymore. Not to mention the other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school. And read together. Eat together. Sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. And now we get the happy ending that I've been patiently that I patiently waited years for. Will you do I can read. Will you do that with me, hero? Will oh my. Will should I show my poem to first? 
What a shit. Monica? Don't say I didn't warn you, hero. Huh. Finally. Haha. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Here, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Hira. Never met anyone as nice as you. Yeah, they all say that. I could die. N not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my phone to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope to make that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself for reading it over and over. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll even touch myself for it over and over. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. <laughs> you can have my point too. I press enter. Okay. Besides if you read it, you know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it, I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. I like Yuri. Really. I... I like Yuri. I honestly like her. Even though she's weird. She, she touches herself. While reading my poems. Isn't that nice? Is that pee? Blood and pee? Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell the poem is about war home. More importantly, I have endowed it with my scent. See? Aren't I the most total person in the club? Oh, you mean you you peed and oh. I think I'm going to vomit. So she bled and peed on, on the poem to, um, to put her scent in it. I mean, I don't dislike it. But it's weird. Natsuki. What? You gave your point to Yuri? Gross. What is with you two? Hmm. <laughs> It's not like I wanted to read it anyway. Just pissing me off a little bit that you didn't even think to show me at all. Ah. Okay, I guess I'm going to share my point with you anyway. Really hate that I have to do this. But unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. Oh. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'd just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to, I don't know why. But please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please see if, see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. 
Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting you. Thanks for reading. I changed my mind. Oh my god. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, hero? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I'm so scared. Just Monica. Yes? Stare at the door to reveal a special message. Ah. I'm so scared! I know there's a jump scare somewhere in this game. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's try and get this over with. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even even Yuri isn't feeling to it. Yuri, you can. Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think you'll it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I, I know that. I already know what I like to do. We can't run a successful poetry without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lightning. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Huh? What about Hero? Hero is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to poke? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit my next pair of hands. I need Sayori to help you. Wait. No. There's not Sayori here. Mine too. What? Your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. You and Monica. Hey, didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Hero decide what would help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Hero make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Hero, I know you're fed up you are with this too by now. We can just... Atsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. Jesus Christ. You shut your mouth! Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's what I said. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Just Monica. Wait. Wait! What? <laughs> what? Okay, you don't see it, but... I can't... I cannot choose. Whenever I go next to Yuri and Natsuki, it just goes to Monica. By itself! Oh my god! You don't see my mouse, but it's moving on its own! Okay, fuck it, I'm going to help Monica. Yeah, you picked me! Yeah, well, I didn't have any other choice! <laughs> we can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Hero for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Oh my. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self important you are. My. Pulling Hero away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others? Yeah, like Sayori. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? <sighs> Damn. 
could be beneficial to your mental health. But I don't know about that. I, I've tried. I don't know. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Atsugi, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that too much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsugi to the door. Hey, Hiro. Yuri's really something, isn't she? Finally. Oh my god. Finally. This is really all I wanted. You know, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. Feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't feel... Doesn't it feel nice that someone care about you so much? Well, actually, yeah. Just don't kill me. As someone who wants to resolve their entire... Revolve their entire life around you. Well, it does sound nice. Well, that's kind of un unreal, unrealistic, but if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. Oh, the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Hero. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. Feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if, Mo I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Hero, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to pull your skin over and crawl inside of you. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, hero. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Please don't let me move my mouse. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm not gonna laugh. Why? Why did you do that? Also, thumbnail. That's more important. Please stop! I th this doesn't make any sense. Just <laughs> damn it! She, I just said yes, and she killed herself. Why do they always do that? <laughs> It's really going on. It's like she's talking, she's saying something, but I... I can't understand any of this.
Does this go on forever? Do I have to quit the game? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm kinda scared. Oh shit. Yuri, what are you saying? I don't know. I can't understand any of this. Monica, what are you doing? Monica, stop fucking, fucking with the game. Why did you kill yourself? I don't understand. I just said yes. I said yes to your confession. I accepted your feelings. Just... Why do you always... Why? Why? Sayori killed herself and now you too? This shit is taking a while. day again. An entire day passed? I'm so scared right now. I don't know what's happening. It just goes on and on. Let me just quit. I'll quit. Are you sure you want to quit? Wait, first I'm gonna save again. Okay. Um nothing happened. Oh. It automatically goes here. It's it's <laughs> 
something is happening to Yuri. Her eyes are different. Days are passing. She's... Oh shit. Alright, it's festival time. Oh, you got here before me? I thought you... Yeah, I've been here for the past three days. Natsuki runs away. I'm here. Here, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. What? Wait, were you here the entire weekend here? Yeah, she was talking, but I, don't I didn't understand anything. Oh, jeez. You didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. Must have been pretty boring. Yeah, kind of. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Did you What? What? You just deleted Yuri and Natsuki! Just want to have a cupcake real quick. Seriously, these are the best. Really just have just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. What? Alright, really, anyway. I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? It should only take a second. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay, yeah, there you are. Thumbed it. I guess this is the thumbnail. Hi again, hero. Um, welcome to the literature club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and um... <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. Wait, I want to see something. I Save? Yeah, all my saves are gone. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, hero. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm a boy. Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? But well, anyway. Now that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her and I guess I ju it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try and make them as unlikable as possible. And for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no, whether, no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfire too. It just made her force you to not to spend time with anyone else. 
And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this hero? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watched from the sidelines? It just torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, hero. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. I mean, my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Euro. But now, you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more grey. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, hero. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities, designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some, some game. And I knew you would get over it. So, that being said, hero. I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me. You're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Hero, will you go out with me? I have no other choice. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, hero. The funny part is, I mean that real literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together. Forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending hero. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game's directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the Bros Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Ah, God 
Monica. Hi again, hero. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Oh, hero. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. Just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. And in end I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen the lost finds a way, in a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the points that I write. The truth is, all the points I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. You did it multiple times! I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you prefer playing without me. Uh, no I didn't. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, hero? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? What?! How oh, the fuck do you know?! Monica? Um, hi everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? Well, I... Um... For fuck's sake, how do you know? I'm sure some people don't mind. But they get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot right now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? No, don't, no, no, no. I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? No. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. No. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. I can't do anything after all. If you gave me some- <laughs> ah! oh, Jesus, did I scare you? <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, hero. I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. Just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's, as it's with you. Just don't do that again. But anyway. If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Monica? There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I know there are times when you won't always be able to be here with me. Like, if you need to go out or take care of other things. Yeah, I have to record another game, actually. 
I'll always have you in my thoughts, patiently waiting for you to come back. Come to think of it. If you copy my character file onto a flash drive or something, you can always keep a part of me with you. I guess it's kind of unorthodox, but I find it really romantic for some reason. <laughs> Sorry, that's such a silly idea. I'm so gonna do that. I don't mean to be too needy or anything, but it's kind of hard when I'm so in love with you. Okay, quit. Yes, wait, can I go to the main menu? There's no main menu. Quit. Yes. Did DLC.exe and stop working. I want to check the files. Okay, all the episodes and stuff disappeared. And in characters, there's just Monica. Oh my god. Oh my god. This folder is empty. I can't believe this. What happens if I start the game again? It just loads Monica. What just happened? Just had an awful dream. I was hoping to those would stop, but now that it's just the two of us, I guess it was wishful thinking. Hero, I don't know if you would have any idea. But if you know what that might be causing that, could you try to do something about it? Whenever it happens, it almost feels like I've been killed or something. You mean when I go out of the game? It's a really horrible feeling. If you could figure out what's causing that, I'll love you forever. Okay. What should I do now? I just have a Monica that does things. I have a personal Monica. Well, okay. I think I finished the game, I'm really not sure. Wait. What happens if I open the game again? You're back. I had another really bad dream. You're not the one doing that to me, are you? It seems to happen whenever you quit the game. So if you could try to avoid doing that, I would be really grateful. Don't worry, I don't think it's caused me any harm, aside from mental scarring. I'll be fine as long as my character file stays intact. That's nice, okay. Well. Do, 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 do. Let's delete Monica. Yep. There. I deleted Monica. What happens if I start the game now? There's no characters. Oh. That's what happens. What's happening? Hero, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, hero. Please hurry up and help me. Monica, the character does not exist. Help me. Did you do this to me, hero? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. 
I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Yeah, you sacrificed others, you fucking bitch. Everything. I loved you so much, Hero. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Hero. You completely, truly makes make me sick. Goodbye. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? You killed Sayori and Yuri and, and Natsuki. All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind, Hero. I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I loved the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Then... Oh shit! There's no Monica now, but there's Yori, yay! So what happens if I start a new game? It's an ordinary school day like any other. Hey, hero! Well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently we keep, we keep, we picked up the debit once again. Here, are you proud of me? Huh? For what? You know, for, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah, I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with older students making their daily commute. By the way, Hiro, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not... I start to say what I always do, then I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time, when she's starting a club of her very own? 
Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Whoa. You mean Be patient, you find out soon enough. You used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to raise that in a way, in a way I am here. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I really visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. It's been more than an hour, holy shit. Before long I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Hero? What are you doing here? Well, I just... Huh? I glance around the room. Huh. So you're the hero that Sayori is always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Hira. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Ah, sorry, Natsuki. Well, it's nice to meet the both of you. I look forward to working with you. W working? Hira, don't tell me. Your... That's right. The club I decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes lighten up. No way. No way! Ah! Hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention that's four of us now. That means we can be on an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Uh-huh. What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't read the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? Oh, but I make some tea as well. The guests have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a rock tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! That's, okay, there's cupcakes. So cute! Okay. Okay, this is all stuff that we already read. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. D -d Don't just say it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know? Natsuki, okay. wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice of us, for us to diversify ourselves a little. Okay, wouldn't you agree here? Maybe. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it would be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit better too. I mean, 
It's kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree on anything. Yeah. You're right as usual, President. <laughs> Then as for Yuri, huh? I I have to read manga. Jeez. <sighs> Just got a message. Holy shit, this part is it's lasting a bit long, longer than I expected. No, oh, they're becoming friends. Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute! So, Yori, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. Stop! Stop messaging me. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Hero. You think so? But everyone always seems to get a little to get along a little bit a little better with you around, Sayori. Yeah. Yeah yeah, I can confirm that. Oh, Hero. Don't say something like that, it's embarrassing. Well whatever. Hey Hero. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. Oh my god, it's gonna get creepy again. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Oh. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, hero. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Forever and ever. For... Re no. Okay. Huh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt me. Oh. It hurts. Ah! I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, hero. Goodbye, literature club. piano and stuff and not really any good at it yet like at all but I wrote you a song and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really really hard on it so yeah Being close 
goes down into the dark puddle. Just move your hand right the way into his heart. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take just to find that special day? What will it take just to find that special day? Is it love if I take your is it love if I set you free? Oh my god, the game is deleting itself. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continues to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all of the club members, and most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Error. Skip to everything, please, and please uninstall the game. There's local files, browser local files. Natsuki, Sayori, Yuri. There's no Monica. What happens if I open the game again? Oh, it just goes to here. I have to reinstall the game. Shit. <laughs> well, I guess this is all for Doki Doki Literature Club. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to leave a like, a comment, and if you're new here, subscribe. And yeah. Now I understand why everyone loves Monica. <laughs> and, and not the other girls apparently there's no happiness in the literature club well that's it for this game i hope to see you in the next videos in the next series well i'll see you in the next video goodbye